The Psychotic Time Wasters present Whose League Is It Anyways? This season starring, he's making of a number between 1 and 10. That's right, you die first. It's BTW Wiz as Cyclovis. Can she keep the humans pretty please, pretty please optimist? She'll take good care of it. It's PTW Dust as Goldbug. Motorcycle that transforms? Okay. It's PTW Bo as Playmill. Hank beats Ghost. Hank beats Hunter. Hank beats everything. It's Vinyl as Megatron. He's seen what you've done with RC Internet, and he's very disappointed in you. It's Aestus as RC. No need to panic at his disco. It's King Craig as Ratchet. Prepare to feel the sting of the mighty monarch! It's Pizza W. King as Starscream. He's a loose cannon bot who doesn't play by the rules. It's PTW G-Man as Slicer. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Whose League Is It Anyway? Season 7, Match 6, and today we have Miss Daffios, PTW King, PTW G-Man, and PTW Vo. How is everybody doing? Doing well. Feeling all right. Coffee hasn't kicked in yet, but all right. My coffee is right here. Excellent. The right color. No, it's supposed to be black. <laughs> well, that's preference, I guess. <laughs> but if you're new around here, Who's League is Anyways is the best Commander League game show on the internet where everything is made up and the points are the only thing that matters. We build Commander decks to a theme each season. It's Transformers this season, season seven. And that's enough about the rules, though. No one cares about that. Point Master Vo, how are the points looking going into match seven? We got Craig out in front with 34, fought up by Vo with 32 and a half, Wiz with 32, Daff with 29, Kink with 28, G Man with 25, Aestus with 23, and coming up the rear, it's Newcomer Vinyl with 22. Dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. So it might That's as well be the new do. guy. Well, it looks like everybody has their seven. Is there any pregame, any pregame talk that anyone wants to do? And well, if there's no pregame, I believe you are on the play, Death. Ultra. I will play this Island is Land for turn. Tap it for a Delver of Secrets and pass turn. Whoopie doo! I'm gonna draw. That's not what I wanted to see. We're gonna play Swamp, and uh, we're gonna pass. Draw. Interesting take. Red Luth, Riding Bluff, Choosing Black, now pass. Draw. Mountain. Pass. Untap. Upkeep trigger. It is. Not a, not a sorcery or whatever. Draw. And I'll play the planes and I'll tap two for gold bug. Convert to the more than meets the eye side. And I will go to combat, swing in one at Bomega. Pass turn. First blood. We're going to draw, we're going to play another awesome looking swamp, and we are going to tap two. The Life of Toshiro Umezawa. All right. So, um, I get to choose one of the following. Let's go with I Gain Two Life. That'll be the part one of the saga, and we'll pass turn on that. Untap draw. Mountain. Do two for... Play more streetwise operative. Now pass. Bro. Mountain. Two. Iron Murder. Pass. Untap. Upkeep trigger. Sajiri Shelter. So transform Delver of Secrets. Then draw the Sajiri Shelter. Now I will play this Ipnu Rivulet for turn. And then I will tap three. For an Oketra's Monument. And then I'm going to go to combat. Three will be going at Kink. And Goldbug will be going at G Man. And then I will pass the turn. Whoop a doo! Untap and draw. Life of Toshiro Umezawa will activate. We'll pick one of the three again. Well, I guess I'll gain two. We will play a swamp. Tap two. 
For a Mind Stone, tap to add a colorless. And you can sack it to draw a card by paying one. I think that's going to be it for now. Pass turn. And tap. Draw. Play a draw Sforge Bridge. And we'll go Bonk Def 2. Convert. Get two intel. Main two. I'm going to pay two for own Colt and Bull. I'm going to pass. Untap. Draw. Pay three for slicer converted and ping death for three. Pass turn. I'll draw. I'll play this Razor Tide Bridge as land return. I'm going to cast a Michiko's Reign of Truth. I am going to select Goldbug. So Goldbug currently gets. Plus four, plus four. And I will go to combat. And I will swing Slicer at Kink, the Insect at Vo, and Goldbug at Demon. And I will pass the turn. Kink, you get a Slicer. Whoopie doo. I get a Slice. Pizza. Got a draw. We're going to play Fancy Swamp. Life of Toshiro Umazara goes off. Exile return to battlefield. Memory of Toshiro. And tap it to pay a life to add a swamp and spend it only to cast an instant or a sorcery spell. We will tap three. For Starscream, serve Seeker Leader. We will go to combat. Wing... Slicer at Vo. I'll swing Starscream at Daff. I'm the Monarch. We sure are. You're going to take two in the air, Daff. Become the Monarch. That'll be my turn. Oh, yeah. I'm going to draw. I'm going to play Mech Hanger. Oh, you get Slicer. You have a Slicer, Vo. Do two for Nimbleite Schematic. When it comes into play, I get a 1 1 Construct. Mm. I'll pay one and sack the construct to flame war. Trigger the Oni cult, and I will make a construct. Flip flame war, get a counter. Let's go flame war at death and slicer at king. I'll uh, block with Toshiro, block slicer. All right. We get three more intel. Back to the front side. And I will pay one and sack the Nimorite schematic to Flame War. So I should flip, get another counter. I'll get another construct from the schematic going to the grave. And I will pass the turn. When I draw for the Monarch. Let's not forget that. Untap. Draw. <clears throat> pay two for Gold Vein Pickaxe. Tap Iron Murder to put Gold Vein Pickaxe onto Slicer. I'll swing Slicer at death. You don't want the monarchy? No. You've hit me for a bunch oh, yeah. of commander damage. I'm returning the favor. That'll be my turn. I'll untap draw. I'm going to select Gold Bug again. Uh, you will not get to Slicer, by the way. I'm gonna pay two for a Sarah's Blessing. My stuff has Vigilance. I'll go to combat, swinging eight again at G-Man, and three in the air at Kink. Taking uh, three. One tap. And draw. We are gonna play Swamp. We are going to go to combat. Two from the star screen. <laughs> then we will become the monarch. One flip. I'll tap three. And we'll play Gruesome Realization. I'm going to choose to draw two cards and lose two life. And when I draw two cards, that'll be two star screen triggers. Then we will do four damage. Although you're at the most. Let's, let's make you lose four. Let's go ahead and tap three. <clears throat> Commander Spear. Last turn. Untap. Draw. Ooh. 
Uh, at the end of turn, I draw for the Monarch, and we will make uh, Vo lose two more. Ooh, I'm going to get you. You better not. Let's do one for a Blood Fountain. Get a Blood Token. And then let's do Combat. Not it. <laughs> right, 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 right. Not it, not it. So four at King? Well, that's not what I said. I think I'm going to have to allow this. Get four intel. I'll become the monarch. Play more to the front. Uh, Our screen will flip when he gets attacked. Uh, let's pay one. Sack the blood fountain. Convert. Make a construct. We're going to do one Onaginata. Play a land, which rivers overlook. It's going to sack to go get Swamp Air Mountain. And uh, we'll pass. Untap. Draw. Hey, G Man. <clears throat> mm hmm. You don't attack me this turn, I won't attack you on my turn. I don't know if I'm going to attack at all. I'm in a very dangerous situation. Okay. Fair enough. I will pay one for Goron's head. We will pay one to equip Bulbvan Pickaxe, a slicer. Pink, you're getting a slicer coming at you. I don't like slicer. I'm going to tap Commander Sphere for a black, and we're going to attempt to defile him. I have five oh. swamps, so he'll get neg five, neg five. Well, he's defiled. Brutal. I pass turn to my likely death. Prepare for death. Untap. Draw. This will flip. I'll play this Kabira Plateau. And I will pay three mana. Or cut a deal. Everybody draw a card and I'll draw three. I will go to combat. We'll send. Gold bug over at Kink. Send the insect human over at Vo. And the portrait also at Vo. Taking three. A three two in the air. And I'll block the five on the ground with a construct. And I'll gain the monarchy. I will go to my end step and draw. And I will discard. This flux. Then I'll pass the turn. And now it is time for the mighty star scream to untap. We will draw. Play a beautiful swamp. We're going to go to combat. Oh, Daphios. I see that you are here. the monarch. I think so. Then you will feel my wrath. I will become the monarch and I will transform. We will then tap two. Demeret, chosen from death. Then we will tap three for a morbid opportunist. Now, whenever one creature dies, I draw a card every turn. We are going to. Pass turn, draw for the Monarch, and do two damage to G-Man. In step, I'm going to use my blood. Discard my Accent Philosopher in the draw card. We're going to untap. Draw. Mountain. Get real nasty. We're going to pay three for Arcbound Tracker. He has Modular 2, Minach. And when I cast a spell, it's not the first spell of my turn. He gets a plus one counter. Then... I would like to move to combat. And we are going to swing old Flame War over at Dev. Alright, but I'll block. Double blocking with the Delver and the Michiko. Yes. Before damage, I'm going to pay two and cast Whirling Strike on Flame War to give it plus two, plus zero, oh, first strike, and trample. So five will trample over. I'll get five intel. Pass the turn. Pay three for Levon, Cultus, Tiamat, and pass turn. Okay. 
draw says Plains of Land Return. I'm going to tap three white, cast Rally for the Throne. I'll create two 1-1 one, one white human creature tokens, and I'll gain three life. Um, yeah, I'll make my humans, and then I'm going to pass. At the end of turn, we are going to tap two, activating Tim Red's ability to exile two cards from a graveyard and gain one life for each creature card exiled this way. We'll exile Daft's one creature, and we'll exile Blood Fountain. Get that out of here. Bye-bye, Blood Fountain. I'll gain two life. We'll untap. We will draw. We will do two damage to G-Man. From Starscream's ability. Thank you. You're welcome. We are going to play Swamp. We are going to... Tap two. Or Thought Vessel. We're going to tap six. Blight Breath Catabal Pass? Enters the battlefield. Target creature, a.k.a. Flame War, gets neg x, neg x, equal to devotion. Devotion is six when Catabal Pass enters the battlefield. I'm gonna... Pay one and discard my hand to get my intel. And then I'm gonna tap the Anvil and sack Flame War. Each opponent loses a life and I gain a life. I will draw a card from your creature dying. Starscream trigger two damage to bow. There's no need to go to combat. We'll pass turn, draw for the monarch, and two damage to bow. Not yet. Yeah. In time. In Let's time. Draw. Pass turn. Play an Opal Palace. I'll pay zero for a welding jar. I can sacrifice it to regenerate an artifact. Let's do four. I'm going to cast Flame right. War. We get a counter on Arcbound Tracker. Go against the Monarch, I suppose. You wouldn't dare! Down with the Monarchy. We're going to pay three and cast Rack and Ruin. It's an instant that says destroy two target artifacts. Put a counter on Arcbound Tracker. And uh, we're going to get Starscream and the Thought Vessel. I'll get you, Flame War! I'm going to go to the end step. We're going to discard... I'll pass. Untap. Draw. Pay one. Pass Skin Invasion to Goldbug. Pass turn. I uh, will untap. Draw. Play this planes I found. Uh, I'm going to tap four for a strong arm monk. And I'll get a one one warrior with it. And if you swing at me, I will not block. <laughs> <laughs> Bet he's crazy. Go to combat with gold bug. Gold bug at G man. If you're really Yay. not. Die from commander damage. Pass turn. Well, I could have killed you with commander damage if that's what you wanted. You missed your chance. I told you to last turn. Untap draw. We are going to play Swamp. <laughs> play him for Starscream the front side. Power hungry. That'll be one more mana. Tap three. It's a canter of endless water. I'll pass turn and draw for the monarch, and then you'll take two damage. Ah ha 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 ha! Untap draw. Time to go nuts. Swamp. Let's do two to cast cranial plating. It's an equipment and gives the quick creature plus one plus so for every artifact I control. A one to equip that to play more. Uh, in response, I'm going to attempt. To make Flame more tragically slip. Give it neg one, neg one. I mean, didn't have to attack you, but, you know. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, you better be scared. Uh, I am. I'm gonna pay one to put it on my Arcbound Tracker instead. Ah! 
I'm going to pay two to give the Arcbound Tracker Onaginata. Let's do two and cast Unexpected Fangs on the Arcbound Tracker. He gets a counter from his trigger. He gets a counter from the Fangs, and he gets a Lifelink counter. Also, I draw a card from Playmore Dying, you have to take two. We're going to go to combat. We're going to send the Tracker at Pink. We are going to sack Commander Spears, draw a card. And we are going to have Vote Lose 2 Life. But I guess I'm taking 19. And I'm going to pass. I'll untap draw. I'll play this island as land for turn. I'm going to pay 2 for a Devout Chaplain. And I will get another warrior. Uh, do declare. I'll pay 2 mana to cast a Jury Shelter, giving Goldbug protection from black until end of turn. I am going to go to combat. I'm going to announce Goldbug swinging at Kink. I'll get you next time, Monobots! And then the rest of the team's coming at Vo. Taking nine. I'll have the monarchy. And I will pass the turn and draw. One tip. Draw. Let's do five for Inspired Tinkering. Exile the top three cards until the end of my next turn I can play them, and I make three treasure. Exiling Mirror Retriever, Wild Slash, and Terramorphic Expanse. Mood Combat. I have a response to combat. Pay two mana, cast Fizzing Swoop, and tap the dude with all the equipment, and one Construct. I'm going to pay three and cast Hijack, targeting my Arcbound Tracker. Gain control of target artifact Ooh, or creature until end of turn. Untap it, it gains haste. And we'll attempt to go to combat again. And we will swing him over, baby. I'll block with these and gold bug and the monk. I'll take seven. And I will use my welding jar to regenerate my guy. I'll tap the anvil to sack the tapped construct. You'll lose a life, I'll gain a life, and I'll make an untapped construct. And I'll Play this Terramorphic Expanse, also. And then I'll drop the Monarch. And then that'll be the end of the turn. I'll untap, draw. Uh, I'm gonna play this Island as land for turn. I'll pay two white to play the Arden Veil. Um, I'll pay three for Gold Bug. Converted. Pass turn. Untap. Drop. Let's... Six for Flamor. We'll do seven. And uh, filtering one into the Opal Palace. Claymore will come in with three counters for Opal Palace. Play <laughs> Go to combat. We will send the Arcbound Tracker at you again. Now I have a response. I'm going to cast uh, an Aetherize. In response, I'm going to sack this guy to the Oni Cult. You'll lose life, I'll gain a life. And uh, I'll move his counters to Flame War. Let's do... Let's pay one to Wild Slash your face for two. And then two for this Mirror Retriever. And I will pass the turn. Drop the monarch. One pass. Draw. And I'll tap for six for Archetype of Imagination. Yeah, Warrior. I'll do three for Heraldic Banner, choosing white. And I'll go to combat. This flips. Draw a card. Flippity doo da. Sending one, two, these three. In the air at you. Actually, I'll just do everything I can. 14. I'm Mark. I'll go to my end step. Draw. Pass turn. Un. Tap. Draw. Swamp. Let's shoot up play more. Stop. Be a nasty little boy. We're gonna pay five and cast Song Mad Treachery, targeting the archetype. Gain control of target creature, untap okay. it, it gains haste. I have a response. I'm going to activate Devout Chaplain and tap the tactician and the archetype to exile Flame War. That's nice. Moss Sacatoni Colt, and you lose one, I gain one. And then I get the archetype. It has flying. Your stuff do not have flying. And uh, I'll die to my own creature. I'll attack you with the archetype. 
And that is game! Good game, everybody. Good game. Well, let's get on into them notable scorings. I flipped four times. I got four. I got seven. Mm. Look at Vo with the big flips. Any other notable scorings to mention? The most I cast three times from the command zone. Well, I just cast one. I just had two. So that's going to take us to the voting. Now get ready, chat. This is your time. you got to type your vote in the chat to affect the points and therefore be the only thing that matters by the transitive property. Ashish play. I'm going to have to go with the first strike trample play you had there, vote. And then I like the uh, kinks, tiniest tragic tragic slip of the motorcycle. <laughs> Alright, I think I gotta give two to Vo for whether it be the Rack and Ruin or whether it be the uh, Whirling Strike play. There was just some good opportunistic uh, strikes there. And then I gotta give the uh, Wanda Daff pretty splashy surviving those extra two or three turns. I think I'm gonna go with two. Just Slicer. Is this commander actually just good? I think this commander actually is just good. Yes. CDH people are going crazy. This thing just changes the whole game dynamic. And I'm going to give one to King because he really got me. He already had used his one man removal, and I was like, ah, he ain't got nothing. Another one man removal. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> he got me. On to the G Man for the splashiest play. Defile turn for Kink and. Had pretty much any of those last few turns. They're all pretty flashy. Chat, 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 chat. No chat points at the moment, but don't forget to type them into the chat and we'll add them up. You still have time. Splashiest play. Type it in. What you want. All right. Best theme. Sorry, we're deaf. Kink and then Vo. Definitely felt emotionally manipulated by Kink. I have to give my theme points. I'm going to go two to the slicer boy. And uh, one to the gold bug. Yeah, I'm going to swap it around, I think. Two to gold bug. Buffing up all the humans. And uh, making a lot of humans. And uh, one to uh, Starscream. Power hungry indeed. Vo Starscream. That'll take it to the last category, which is the most valuable card. I'm gonna say Onicolt Anvil, because cranial plating is just dumb anyway. <laughs> and then whatever one of Kink's things, probably the gruesome realization. I'm gonna give my two to the Anvil and one to Slicer. I am gonna give points to that Vigilance Enchantment. Tara's Blessing. Make very hard to attack. And then I'm going to give some to the pick. The gold vein pick. I feel like that almost kept you in the game. Just didn't quite get there. The Vigilance Blessing thing and Omni Colt. Is there any, any chat votes? Chat's just lurking today. They don't feel like affecting the points. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Well. That's going to do it for the voting. So, fourth place today is going to be poor old G-Man. 16 points above him. We got the Kink and I with 19 points for third place. Second place is going to go to Daff with 28, which means Vroom Vroom Motorcycle, 31 points. Okay. Good games all around. What will that bring the league standings to after Season 7, Match 6? Still got Craig out in front with 34. Bo, right behind him with 33. Simon, third with 32. Daft moving up to 30 points for fourth. Kink, 26 points for fifth. Neck and neck at 6th place between Guitar and Aestist with 23. 
Coming up the rear, it's still vinyl with 22. Like this video and subscribe to the PTW YouTube channel to see more content and find out when our new videos release. Follow the PTW Twitch channel and subscribe for ad-free viewing. Don't forget to follow that Facebook and that Twitter to keep up with all the good news. <laughs> Be sure to follow us on TikTok, and also don't forget to check out the new merch store. Best way to support the PTW crew and get cool shit at the same time. Thank you all for watching. Cryptic cave sounds like a vagina.